ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you once again, Avery Jones. Avery, thank you for joining me today for the second time we do this. It's really great to be here, Miguel. Thank you so very much. So UNC and Duke, one of the best rivalries in sports, for the first time, and I didn't even know this, but for the first time, they're going to go at it on Final Four. And what better way to have two great teams historically to clash at Final Four? And plus, it's Coach K's final season. And it's not Roy Williams. It's not Dean Smith. It's Hubert Davis. So it's a, it's a very interesting matchup. What do you think how this matchup will play out? The fact that this is the first time that Duke and you and C have played in the final four is not only historic, but it's like the movie is writing itself. To kind of quote Dick Vitale, it's gonna be awesome, baby. Because I, I had to look too, I was not sure. This is literally, in my opinion, probably at least the top three great sports rivalry, whether it be professional, whether it be individual, whether it be college, anytime these two teams play, it's 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 head to head. It's it's sometimes it's very physical. It can kind of get heated at moments. But um, and you know, like you and doing my research, I found out Coach K's record versus North Carolina is barely above 500. He's only like 50 and 47 versus UNC full time. You know, all time. So I think it's going to be a great game. I think it's going to be very emotional. I think you said it first. It's you, This is first year head coach. And this is the Tar Heels. They were looking to maybe not even make the tournament. But when they beat Duke at home in Cameron, it kind of put everything, you know, to the forefront. So this is going to be a great game. Yeah, that, uh, that's one thing. Um... I was going to mention, and you just finished saying at the end, the last time these two met were at um, Duke's home turf. You know, the last home game for Coach K, you had all the former alumni, all these great players that played for him were there, and they didn't win the game. So even though I'm on North – and what's so interesting about this conversation is that you're a Duke person. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not just a North Carolina guy because I do like – I have like four – and like in college basketball, I have like four teams that I root for. Yeah. St. John's, Syracuse, North Carolina, and Miami, University of Miami. So, but when it comes to Duke and USC, it's always interesting, but I, I got to go with UNC on this one. So you're a Duke person. So, but in this, but I feel that for this matchup, this particular game, I feel that Duke will win this game. Because number one of what happened the last matchup, I feel like this is redemption for them. And number two, I feel like this team is very inspired to win it all for Coach K. I feel that after beating the Michigan State Spartans, I feel that was a turning point in the season for Duke. And, you know, to say, you know what, let's go all the way. So that's my feeling on it. I don't think it will be a blowout. I'll give respect for each team that way. I feel that it's going to be a close game, but Duke might escape and go to the national championship. I, I agree with you too, Miguel. I don't think this is going to be a blowout. I think it's going to be, you know, it might be look to be a blowout in the beginning. Duke, for some reason, always struggles early in the game, and then they pick up like late first half or they start off strong in the second half. But I see this being close the whole time. I don't see any team maybe being up more than 10 points um, at any point in the game. I think this is going to be just so very, very close and then possible, you know, do, you know, get uh, a good, good run going. Uh, and like you said, they are inspired by Coach K. Coach K can inspire his players even though they know it's his last year and they probably already have in their head, hey, we, we want to win this for Coach K. Because Coach, you know, Mike Krzyzewski is a legendary coach, not just in college basketball, but 
in all of sports. You mentioned Coach K. Most people know who you're talking about. So it's it's going it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a good game. I'm going to be happy whether Duke wins or not. Of course, I really want them to win. I really want them to get the championship for Coach K, but for the run they've had, it's been very good. It's been very good for the team. They've been shooting very well. Like I said, they do struggle in the beginning. You literally about the first maybe about five, 10 minutes start of a game, but they usually pull it out. But I agree with you, it's gonna be close. This is not gonna be a blowout by any means. Well, there you have it, folks. Those are my predictions. Those are AV predictions. Avery, I can't wait for this weekend. This matchup has been talked about this whole week. I just can't wait to these two get it on. And we're going to have ourselves a chat. We have Twitter there. So <laughs> all eyes are going to be on this game. No disrespect on Villanova. Yes. And, um, but this one is, come on, it's historical right here. So. This, is, this is everything basketball is talking about. Because, like you said, this has never happened. This is literally a premier rivalry now in the final four. The only thing that would have made it better if it was the actual final. But the fact this is the final four, and like you said, the last time these two teams played, Duke lost at home in Cameron, and Cameron is kind of an invincible arena for Duke at some sometimes. But you're right. This is this is this is everybody's gonna be talking about. And what better way for it to be on a Saturday night?